Here's one that I know that the vintage electronics purists are all going to love. A lot like the... What was that? Was it a Magnavox or it was a... I think it was an RCA. It was a big uh, RCA Danish modern console that I had that I covered, uh, I don't know, it was a little over a year ago. Similar story with this one. I found this and it was in fantastic shape. In fact, it uh, even has the uh, owner's manual and uh, the little, uh, like the, uh, the hanger tags that go on the knobs that were on it to when it was new in the showroom. Uh, unfortunately, the flyback was bad and the CRT had been necked. And this used a very early 21 inch uh, low deflection angle CRT and given all of the issues with it all put together I decided you know I'm not going to invest the time in it I think I'm just going to retrofit it so like that uh, RCA console that uh, I featured previously here this one is upgraded with a modern CRT and electronics and uh, everything and as seamlessly as I could get it I've done a few of these and uh, but I just want to kind of give it a quick overview uh, I found out uh, that there were actually a couple of people who were interested in uh, doing uh, like uh, well not doing retrofits but they were just interested in uh, the fact that it existed um, so I want to cover this in a little bit more detail just to kind of show how I did it. So I don't know if this is a 54 or a 55 Dumont, but uh, let me see if I, I've got this thing on manual everything here. All right. I, looks good enough. Anyway, <laughs> uh, 54 or 55 Dumont, I think it's an earlier, I think it's a, maybe even a 53, but, uh, well, I mean, it's just showroom fresh. And this one, like I said, has all the uh, bells and whistles with it, but uh, it is in fantastic condition. What I'll do here is uh, I'll get something on screen. All right. Let's see what I got. And I've done uh, this has uh, RCA, it's got uh, RF, and it's got uh, HDMI built into it. And uh, I'll take apart the back and, and feature that in a second, but. I think I've got a Roku attached here. Hopefully it is still attached. Yes. Now here's the back. I've uh, pulled off this uh, CRT cover as I found it not really necessary. I'd like me to get it a little bit closer to the wall, but it's just got, I mean, this is pretty simple here. Uh, like I said, RF and it's got uh, HDMI and 
uh, just a standard composite input, original back cover. And these are the uh, hang tags. This is the uh, Kendall model. And it's got a bunch of, uh, well, it's got the original instruction manual and a bunch of, uh, like, uh, stuff that was used in the show, in the uh, showroom originally. Oh, and that doesn't belong in there. For Zenith TV. Anyway, how to use your tube tester. Okay. Uh, same thing? Yeah, no. Forgot about those. Uh, oh, yeah, the original, uh, tube layout. Yeah, here it is. How to operate your Dumont Teleset. It's got all that snazzy stuff. And then this guy. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like a quick reference and uh, installation uh, guide for, uh, for the set. So, but I love these. I think these are I mean, try to find those today. They're the first thing that was that uh, got pulled off and thrown away. Pull the back cover off here. So this is inside the rear. Uh, so it's a, what it is, it's a circa 2005 color television chassis, uh, CRT and uh, chassis. Now, the story with these and I say these, I had uh, ended up with a handful of them. But the story uh, that uh, came with them was that uh, the guy that I bought them from, which is sort of like a, he was a sort of like a, an estate liquidator, kind of like a surplus kind of a, a business. Uh, he said that uh, he acquired them from uh, an auction from a uh, major hotel chain. And what had happened was uh, they had uh, opened up and they put uh, CRT TVs, brand new CRT TVs in pretty much all their rooms. And after a year or so, the place was bought out by somebody else. And uh, you know, about that time, LCDs were becoming affordable. So what they did was they put uh, started putting LCDs in all the rooms. So I ended up with a handful of these extremely low hour 25 inch uh, CRT televisions. And Everyone that I've that I've taken apart, including this one, it, you know, there was no dust on the high voltage uh, cable uh, at the Ultor. There was no, there were no burn spots on the board from, you know. And if you've worked on these, you know that like the vertical output and the power supply and all that, the the areas that run hot. I mean, they the board will start to turn a color uh, after so many hours. This is a telltale, and these, I mean, they're just brand new, and it's just a testament to how low hour they really are, but, you know, CRT's mounted in there, pretty rugged. Um, mounts, same up there. And, uh, and the video inputs, uh, the, I've got this auxiliary power supply that actually came with the TV set, and it, this chassis was initially designed for some kind of lodge net system where it was uh, like an in-room pay-per-view thing where you put a card in the back and it, it would communicate with the thing in the front office or something. Uh, but that power supply was designed for it and that was never built into this set. So go figure. But what I've done here is I've just used that power supply, modified it to put five volts, uh, modified it gener to generate five volts, and then uh, I've wired in this HDMI downscaler here. So it's 1080 HDI, uh, HDMI, just a um, 480 composite. But it ends up being a pretty good picture because the electronics in this particular uh, downscaler are pretty good. But original speaker, and I've got a couple caps on there just as a, a tone bypass caps uh, to kind of roll off the high end. As I know the uh, Chassis doesn't allow for the TV doesn't allow for uh, tone compensation or anything base or total adjustment. It just uh, so I have to do it manually. But it sounds great. Everything's in great shape. And uh, the 
I cut out the uh, original control panel openings on the front door so uh, you can just reach in and press um, the power and channel buttons there on the front. And then the knobs, the original volume and channel knobs are just kind of dummies. Uh, so, but yeah. So this thing can't have but a couple hundred hours on it. And I put most of those on it. But, it uh, turned into a nice little project. I really enjoyed it. You just don't see style like this in uh, well, pretty much anything anymore. Look at all the attention to detail and just all the everything. Pretty amazing.